Hello, 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 my lovelies. So, I have a pick a card. Oops, I accidentally knocked those. I have a pick a card. As you can see, I've got some crystals in front of them. There's a fluorite crystal in front of this, a selenite, and a lipidolite in front of that one. All right, this is deck one, this is deck two, this is deck three. This is going to be angel messages of what you need to know in this moment. These are channeled messages from both your spirit guides, who love you very, very much, and also Archangel Michael has pitched in. I am letting you know on that. Um, Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Uriel have all pitched in on this. Um to help me give you the correct channel messages. I do have some channel messages at the end as well that I will read out loud that they gave me to channel for you. So um, go ahead, if you need to pause the video, go ahead and pick the deck. Again, this, this is deck one, this is deck two, and this is deck three. And go ahead and pick away, but I'm gonna get right in to deck one, and I'm gonna set deck number three over here, and deck number two right here. And lay out deck number one. Yes, you want to go rolling. My little bit of light wants to go rolling. Okay, for deck number one, I'm being called to look at the clock. All right, so it is 2.12 right now um, where I am. So I believe that some of you guys are going to be seeing a lot of twos um, as well. So, um, yeah, where did I put my water? Let me go grab my water. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, me and my dry mouth. Okay, starting at 154 for deck one. 154 for deck one, okay. All right. Okay, deck one. Your first message for you. It's going to be a channeled message. They're telling me to tell you this channeled message first because it's actually imperative to tell you this channeled message first. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. That's good. All right. Okay. All right. Your first message for deck number one. <laughs> your child message. You're spending too much money, love. That's what your guys want you to know. You're spending too much money, love. All right. Let's get more into there. Okay, the next thing we got is Dark Enchantment. So I'm going to go ahead and read off Dark Enchantment to you from the Enchanted Oracle booklet for you. So, here we are. Dark Enchantment. Mm. Let's see what this message is. All right, got it. You want to go somewhere or do something. You have convinced yourself that all is well. This choice will definitely further your goals and take you in the direction you wish to go. At the very most, you think it won't lead you too far straight. You say there is nothing overtly wrong with what you are considering. Besides, you really, really want to. Take a hint from the late month. Don't go there. Whatever it is, however tempting, it's not going to be good for you in the long run. Whatever it is may seem small. But this is no normal little temptation. This has the potential to take you off your course and in the direction you really don't want to go. So I feel like you guys want to spend money on something. And also some of you are actually looking into spells. I'm hearing love spells. All right. So, let's go into this. Um, would you 
want to know that somebody only loves you because you chose them to love you? Or would you like to know that that person actually loves you back in return and gives you the love that you give them? Answer me that question. Because let me tell you something. Doling into love spells can actually cause a lot of problems and it can backfire. Um, what it can do is just it, it can really bring on not necessarily love from the other person, but my my guides and, and Archangel Michael is telling me that all this spell that you are considering doing, whoever is considering doing it, don't do it. It will bring about obsession. And there is a chance that the obsession could get violent if you ever choose to leave this person. And even before you leave the person, the obsession could get violent because the person could get jealous of you hanging out with other people. So, Archangel Michael is strongly saying, don't do it, okay? Whoever's thinking about doing this spell, don't do it. It's not a good idea. Obviously, you have the free will, but it's not a good idea. Now, if somebody is trying to put, if you sense somebody is trying to put a spell on you, I'm being, um, told to recommend Black Tourmaline to you. And, um, Black Obsidian as well. As this will protect you from any spells or influences. If you want to know how to program your crystals, go check out the Gem Goddess on YouTube. She's awesome. Alright. Let's get into the other part of the reading for those that are not in tune with the spell, too. Um, I had to reach out to the people that were in tune with trying to make a love spell, okay? For the others of you that aren't, into a love spell it is actually you're spending too much money and you may be thinking about going and getting that extra thing that you want so bad at the store okay all right they are saying that this thing that you want may put you in the direction that you feel you want to go but it may set you off track and Put you spiral you into this place where you're like well I kind of need that money now even though you didn't so your advice here is to really listen because your angels Archangel Michael is guiding you that's what I'm being told thank you thank you Michael um, so yes Archangel Michael has been guiding you through some stuff and I feel like for some of you, it may be like some kind of missed opportunity. Um, for some of you, it is an offer of love. Not all of you. For some of you, it could have been some kind of missed opportunity that you didn't realize you were missing until you missed it. And now you all of a sudden want to move forward towards some kind of goal that opportunity that you missed the first time you realized yes for some of you you, you realized you missed that opportunity and you're ready to move forward towards that opportunity because you're looking at that opportunity and saying how could I miss an opportunity like that Fia is just holding the world in his hand and looking at it you know and then like we've got this right here so some of you are ready to move forward towards that opportunity and it's actually time for you to, to move forward towards the good opportunities in life okay um where that book is I've got mirror next truth revealed so Oh, let's show that again. So it says truth revealed on it as well. So it's a mirror card. This is a newer deck, so I'm just going to go straight to the mirror meaning on here and read it to you. And it says this card asks you to take a moment to see the truth about a person or a situation that you've been hiding from yourself. Tune into your honest feelings. Mirror dreams reveal what's real in your relationships and circumstances. They usually occur when you're in denial about something. 
So that goes along with the love spell right there <laughs> for some of you. So maybe you're in denial about some things. Um, Archangel Jophiel is Jophiel or Jophiel. I, I'm trying to... Jophiel. Jo thank you. Thank you for that, that. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So Jophiel, the Archangel Jophiel is associated with this symbol. Cool. Take time to view this situation from a different angle or perspective. The beauty you see around you is a reflection of you. See the innocence within yourself. So I feel like for some of you, this is in a relationship and you may be in denial about something. For others of you, I think you really need to look in the mirror and really see who the real you is or go inside and analyze who the real you is in this moment in time. Because you have got some divine intervention going on here, okay? To try to make things better for you. Um, it says, God sends miracles and the answer to your sincere prayers. Okay? Um, golden Obsidian may be very um, beneficial to you if you can find it. Okay, so whatever situation you are looking to find answers on, it's very multifaceted. So there's many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about. So basically... The, these amount of layers in this person that you may be trying to ask about, like I said, this right here could play out from their perspective as well, like missing an opportunity and wanting to move forward towards that opportunity. That very well could be them moving towards you if you're asking a question about a person in this deck. Um, so that very well could play out from their perspective, but... Like I said, you know, take it as it resonates. Um, I do have spring your desires fully manifest when the flowers begin to bloom. So I feel like spring may have been significant to you or for an anniversary or a birth or something. I don't know. Spring may have been significant for you. Um, since it's already spring, I feel like you may have successfully manifested some of your desires even though you do not realize it yet. Um, but you'll see it. And part of that manifestation that you are seeing is most likely going to be new abundance coming in, waves of prosperity, new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. So I feel like you guys want to make sure you have money as well. So your, your thing is you're spending too much money, love. If you stop spending that money, you'll see these waves of prosperity. And the other thing is, don't focus on lack. Focus on what you have in the moment. Yes, it's, it's saying take time to carefully review your options. Okay? Really carefully review your options when it comes, up, uh, when it comes to money. For others of you, I feel like some of you may be having a partnership and a career or a partnership and a relationship... Maybe you're looking at a relationship where you want the person to come f towards you. You know, don't go for the love spell if that's what you're thinking about because, you know, the partnership is here. It's just, it's, it's so multifaceted. Like, this person may have a lot of shit going on in their life. A lot of bullshit. Thank you. Um, apparently... I am hearing from the guys strongly. They are saying they have a lot of bullshit on and you need to start being more patient. That is what I'm hearing. I'm sorry. I'm channeling them. That is what I'm hearing. I am hearing that you guys are extremely impatient and your guys are just like telling you, patience, please be patient. Stop trying to rush shit. And for some of you, this is a divine relationship. You know, they are telling you, stop fucking trying to rush shit. Because it's just stalling it more. So every time you try to rush a situation, you're actually blocking the situation from happening. Um, so, and, and I'm going to explain to you why. When you're rushing the situation, you are actually focusing on what you don't have in that moment. Because you're focusing on, I have to have this now. I have to have this now. I have to have this now. Instead of, I have this now. And so... I'm going to ask you to go check out the Gem Goddess on Manifestation Blocks. And also go check out Stargirl the Practical Witch on Manifestation Blocks as well. Because they have some great stuff on Manifestation Blocks. 
and how you can manifest better. They are great. I'm recommending you to the Gem Goddess because I'm not going to steal her information from, from, from the YouTube though I will go into my own manifestation techniques later that work for me as I develop my, my manifestation techniques. But please do check out the Gem Goddess. Please do check out Stargirl the Practical Witch because she's got some good manifestation block stuff on there. But, you know, it's also saying allow help, helpful, supportive partnerships in your personal life and career and both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. So I feel like you may have a friend that may want to help you. And also, it's saying that you have to allow yourself to receive um, this partner that you're desiring. And the way you do that is you just really got to focus on, I am worthy. Love flows to me right now. You know, make those positive affirmations um, in the morning and stuff like that. Retrain your brain to believe that it's already happening. Retrain your brain to believe that that that, that you're not lacking anywhere and that you, you're deserving of everything because whether you know it or not, your ego in the subconscious can tell you that, that you don't deserve things and know that that's your ego and it's just talking shit to you. Okay? We've got the, the, the belonging card, so I'm going to go ahead and read that out loud to you from the house, Wisdom of the House of Night book. All right, so this is number 41. Boy, you guys got a lot going on. All right, dear one, I know you have been searching, for, been searching your whole life for a sense of belonging, a feeling of home and acceptance. Come and enter the house of night, for when you choose this symbol, you have joined us in this community of beauty, friendship, and secrets, only shared and known among my chosen ones. You are chosen to belong. This symbol also tells you that you are in the right place now. You are home. You are at home inside yourself. Learn to be, be at home inside yourself. Learn to be comfortable inside your own skin. When I choose this symbol, know that I next have goddess of night have chosen you okay so this is telling you to be comfortable in your own skin okay really be kept comfortable in your own skin believe in yourself because when you believe in yourself you attract others to believe in you as well when you love yourself you attract others to love you as well okay so you need to start believing that you belong believing that, that things are right because right now you're at a temporary pause in the action you're in hangman position right now you just you're stuck and the only reason why you're stuck is because you're not believing in yourself you know it's saying really really change the way you're looking at the situation and embrace embrace your uniqueness because once you trust just how amazing you are you are going to realize that when you put your true intentions out to the world, that you already have what you seek, um, you know, you're going to get what you want because you already have it. So make your intentions clear. Make it clear that you already have what you seek. All right, next step. Okay, what we got? We got goodbye to the old, hello to the new. So, you finished one part of your life and a, now a new and even better part is beginning. Okay, so what this is telling me is telling me that, that once you start looking at the situation different and start believing in yourself, you are going to bring an end to this cycle and start a new, much more beautiful cycle. Because we've got the sun card here, okay? Sun cards, happy, happy, joy, joy, plans that work out per perfectly, okay? Amazing ideas that relate to words. So Gratitudes for the blessings. It's also telling you to have gratitude for all your blessings in life. Um, doesn't matter what you have. Focus on that blessing that you do have. Okay. We've got the five of abundance. There are times when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help from those around you. This situation you're experiencing is temporary. This may not be the right time to become self-employed. Be patient. So like I said, there's the be patient again. And then we've got this one. It's a nine of emotion. 
And this is an outcome once you start really taking care of yourself and believing in yourself, okay? Line of emotion. This is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are just your reward for being a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun. So yes, you are being asked to enjoy your life, have more fun, so that you can get this outcome to where you get this beautiful new opportunity. And I believe that that person, once you start believing in yourself and not doubting yourself, that person can come right to you, you know? Which, make your intentions real, because if you focus on the lack, you manifest the lack into your life. If you focus on what you already have, you manifest more of what you have in your life, okay? So, that's the way manifestation works. Alright, next thing is we've got the page of water. Okay, for some of you that don't have love yet, a new person will be entering your life. A relationship begins a new phase and heightens psychic abilities. Alright? So some of you also may be going through some kind of spiritual awakening, so you might notice some heightened psych psychic abilities on maybe um, channeling messages from the divine. See this, see this cup here? Maybe the divine's offering you some channeled messages about what's to come in the future, like a future offer, whether it's a job, money, relationship, home, something. All right? But for some of you... A relationship is going to begin a new phase, and for some of you, a relationship is going to come in. Now, for, for those of you that a relationship is coming in, I am asking you not to go into any type of spell orientation and just kind of focus your intentions on manifesting that. Um, but this is mostly about not spending too much money and really seeing the manifestation efforts the way um, that they work best and really putting your true intentions out to the world. Believe you have it and it's yours, okay? That is the way the universe works, okay? I'm going to pick up these decks and um, there, your, my guides are telling me do not give up because you're actually at a point of breakthrough in your life where you're going to see probably success when you least expect it. So don't give up yet, but remember that you're spending money just a little too freely, okay? And literally, the way they said it was, you're spending too much money, love. You're spending too much money, love, is exactly how they channeled the message to me, was spending, not spending, spending, like as if they're like, Spending too much money! You know, that's what they're saying to me. So we're going to move on to deck two at 2307, all right? All right. Hello, deck two that picked the selenite. Let me grab a drink of water here. Yee. All right. Oh, well, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll have to pull an extra one on that one. Thank you. Let me just lay these cards out here for you. I'm going to tell you right now, Archangel Michael is currently supporting you through whatever situation you're going through, okay? Feels like a family situation too. Okay. Let's see what this doles into. You guys, for some of you, you're going to be getting a message. I'm going to kind of get into what kind of message you will be receiving. Okay. Um, it even could be a message from the divine. What kind of message are we looking for here? Uh, here. Now tell me. What kind of message are we looking at here? I'm sorry, I've got the TV going in the background. What kind of message are we looking at here for them? Thank you. 
Wow, okay. Okay. Um, so, the message that you're going to be getting is going to be kind of making you feel a little bit more fulfilled in life, okay? So whatever this message is, whoever it's from, you are going to be getting a message that's going to make you feel more fulfilled in life, okay? That is what you are going to be getting. All right. Now, I've got a channel message here. I don't know how well you can see it on the white paper. But it says you're feeling stuck. To feel unstuck, stop focusing on lack. So I feel like some of you may be focusing on um, the lack in some kind of situation, whether it be in money or um, work. I feel like this is work. This seriously feels like a money work type situation. Yeah, this 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 feels like money. Money. Some kind of money problem here, okay? All right. Money and stress. Money and stress. What else am I seeing? Okay, Archangel Michael is currently um watching over you right now. Thank you. I will read that right now. Okay, so Okay, so a lot of you are having a lot going on at once. It's saying too much going on at once. And some of you need to make a decision on something and some of you may need to consider a more playful approach so that you don't like overwork yourself because I feel like some of you are really overworking yourself because of everything going on. Because we've got stress reduction here, okay? So de-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you, as you need to rest and recharge and revive. So I feel like this group, gosh, you guys are tired. Um, so I feel like this group, thank you. Let me pop some sage so I can get a little bit more clarity here. Because I got some energies going on here. Some sage so I can get a little bit clearer energy here. Thank you. Yeah, you guys have been like really juggling priorities, like multiple priorities, and so you're just feeling like you're trapped in this situation. You're just feeling stuck in a situation. And for some of you, you may be ready to build some kind of um, family or great job or something. You're, you're working on building something, okay? You're ready to build something is what you want to do. You want to build something, but you're feeling stuck in this moment. So whether it's a family, a love relationship, or a better job, in order to build that... You really, really need to focus on reducing stress, okay? Um, and also focus on... Ha think like you already have something. And I am also being told that you have divine support on your side. But it's also telling you to reach out to friends for support. Because we also do got the friendship card. Make a date for play day with your friends with one or more friends so you really need to spend time with friends and just kind of give this situation over to the universe or god or whatever you believe in um because it's saying take a deep breath and on exhale release the situation to god for healing and answers so if you don't believe in a god release it to whatever deity you do believe in or the universe or whatever but um also daydreaming allow your mind to wander and have quiet time okay so sometimes you know when you envision what you desire, it has a tendency to come about. But in the way that you're envisioning what you desire, I am asking you to kind of envision in it as it's already there. And the more you envision what you want as already there, the faster it comes to you, the way that, that's how it manifests. And also you're being told to have some savings, okay? Savings. It says... As you are consist as as you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds 
This is a part of your self-care and a path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose, okay? The next thing we got is easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all doors will open to you. So like I said, let go of control and instead envision you already having it. Like literally act like you already having it. If you're trying to manifest something, which I'm sensing you are, go check out the Gem Goddess on YouTube. She has great um, things on manifestation blocks. And another thing um, is Stargirl of Practical, which also does have a lot on manifestation blocks as well. So I watched that with her as well. All right. We've got Emerald Princess. And I'm going to read this one to you and see what we got, what this is about. All right. What do you mean? Here we go. What? There is something going on that doesn't seem right to you. You are feeling perhaps uncharacteristically. The need to flout authority, to raise your voice, to stand up for yourself or someone else. Check the impulse, that impulse. If it is something that is fundamentally immature or reckless, consider letting it slide. However, and probably more likely, if it is something more, now is the time to be bold and speak up. If your moral, spiritual, and ethical beliefs compel you to defy something you don't, you may regret it later. If your if your ethical beliefs compel you to defy something and you don't, you may regret it later. And who knows, your boldness could very well spark beneficial change in your life or even in the world. So, what I am seeing here is that you guys are most likely, this group of people, you guys may be indigo children. Um, maybe, maybe check out some books on indigo children, but also it's telling you to stand up for your beliefs as well, because I feel like you guys may have a defiant nature in this group, like you may want something to be a certain way, because you believe other ways are wrong. So, I feel like this group... Uh, people is definitely there. There's definitely a chance that you could be indigo children. <laughs> um, I'm actually an indigo child as as well. Um, you can check out videos on YouTube on indigo children as well. But that's what my guides were telling me is indigo children, indigo children. I'm like, okay, cool. You're being told to ask ask others for help. Okay, ask others for help. Like I said, that I date up for friendship. You know, it's really time for you to start doing stuff so you can ask others for help so that you can kind of clear your energy. And as you clear your energy, you're going to see news of an exciting new endeavor. You know, something exciting is going to show up. But it's also telling you that, you that in order to do this, you've really got to embrace your individuality. And I feel like sometimes you guys don't always embrace your individuality and if you're wondering if it's the right time to move forward on something like building something new with somebody or something I don't know something says like you're really focused on work but you may have a person that you that that you actually want to build this this ten of cups with this this happy family life with you may want to build this um, for some of you, you may have children, or some of you, you may have been recently divorced or getting out of a divorce. Not all of you, um, because there's three there. So, or for some of you, you find it hard because you have work getting in between as well, because the work is a third party situation right there. Um, the work and the money is a third party situation there. The third party situation doesn't even have to be a person. It can be work. It can be a it can be a daughter, it can be a son, it can be anything like that, it could be family, but you've got some kind of situation in there that, that you just feel like is stopping you, but you're ready to build this with this person. And my advice to you is to go ahead and go for it, because this person is most likely going to accept you back into their life. And you've also got the uh, perfect timing Yes, this is the right time for you to move forward. So this card is telling you, yes, go ahead and move forward. Go ahead and move forward on this situation. Whatever you want to build with this person, I sense it's it's the one thing that's in the back of your mind that's kind of like, I really want to do this. I really want to do this. But at the same time, you're so stressed about everything else going on and you're waiting for things to turn in your favor. The answer is to already see them turning in your favor because... 
they will, as you see them turning in your favor, because you got the wheel here. This is all about things turning in your favor, okay? And then we've also got these ones here. So we've got Guardian of Emotion. This situation requires emotional maturity and trust. You're surrounded by those who have only the best intentions, so you can rely on advi the advice you're given. Challenges will be resolved. This card also indicates a generous humanitarian, a refined person whom you can completely depend on. This could be a reference to these characteristics within yourself. So you can depend on yourself to really turn, turn the wheel in your favor, okay? But I feel like there also may be somebody else that you're questioning if you can depend on them. The answer is yes, you can depend on them. Yes, they are good people. But you don't want to put your full dependence on them as a codependent place. You want to do it in a healthy way, you know. Like, if you're like, if, if you're wondering if they're actually good for you, yes, okay? <laughs> yes, yes, that, that's, that's basically the answer. And, you know, as you believe all of this, to start to happen you're going to see this wheel of fortune change and turn in your favor and you know you're going to manifest it and then we got guardian of abundance this is a time of great success for you all your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future make sure to accept them this card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in the situation this is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work this person could be you. So maybe you guys are even going to get a call or a message about a new career. Because whatever this message is, it's bringing fulfillment to your life. It's bringing you what you're waiting for to move forward with this person. Um, that's what I'm hearing. It's bringing what you're waiting for to help you move forward just with this person. Um, but at the same time, you shouldn't stall with moving forward with this person. Because um, this person is going to accept you back with open arms, probably with a hug, and if they haven't seen you for a while, with tears, because they miss you, okay? That is what the angels are saying to me. Um, I am a channeler, so, yeah, I'm going to pick up all these cards and get ready to move on to deck three. All right, so deck three is starting at 37, 37, all right. Deck three. Hmm. Okay. Your message. Your channeled message, okay? I don't know how well you can see it. You're manifesting even if you don't see it yet. Keep up the good work. Okay? So that is your angel message. Okay. Another earth. Okay. Summon. Nice changing sensitive emotion. Resources wisely. Okay. I actually picked this deck for myself as well. I'm actually kind of interested to see what's here. Because I, I haven't even looked at the cards. I don't look at the cards. Okay. Self-employment, abundance mindset, affirmations, flower power. Okay. All right. So some of you may be having some fears surrounding money. Okay. I'll just put in. Oh, this is actually a beautiful spread for you guys. A beautiful spread when I'm reading in these cards. Okay. Leave this for last. Thank you. I will do that. All right. Okay, we've got the retreat card. 
This is kind of about going inside and listening to your inner guidance and maybe doing some meditation as well. I'm sorry the light kind of went down outside all of a sudden. Um, some clouds rolled in. Okay? There's some retreat that, that needs to go on here. You need to go inside and listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut. Really pay attention to the messages coming to you. Um, if you want to get more view on what retreat means, I will go ahead and read it out to you. Retreat R S S. Yeah, I'm just being a nerd. <laughs> All right. Are you pushing yourself too hard, beloved child of God? The angels remind us to rest. That that rest is a natural cycle of every living thing. Think of the mighty oak tree that grows in in spurts and then rests. It draws its nourishment from deep within the earth and takes time before growing upward again. Like the oak tree, it's important for you to nourish yourself with spiritual and emotional food. While you're resting, take time to reflect on your heart's true feelings and desires. Your angels speak to you through your heart, and when you listen to honor your feelings, you walk hand in hand with God and the angels. You will know that it is true divine guidance and not just your imagination and wishful thinking if it speaks of your desire to make a difference in this world. So... That is more about the retreat card there. We've also got the abundance card. This usually means abundance is surrounding you, but I'll go ahead and read it out to, to you, okay? Because I'm, I'm being told to read it out to you. Um, your messenger angels announce an arrival of inflow of abundance coming your way. The source of all abundance is God, and you at some level had faith that the Creator would supply your needs. Your faith, even if it was small, triggered the abundance that is manifesting for you right now. Keep your faith as you will ensure a steady flow of support materially, psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, and intellectually. A wonderful affirmation is to help you stay in the steam of the steady flow of, abun of abundance is, I accept good graciously into, your, into my life. Okay, the abundance... Uh, a wonderful affirmation to help you stay in this stream of steady flow of abundance is, I accept good graciously into my life. All of my needs are met abundantly for me now and always. So, basically, abundance mindset, really, really notice that you really feel like you're already in that moment of abundance. Really feel like you already have what you, what you know you're looking for. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, and think and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment and that is what you will experience okay so like I manifested a text message today because I envisioned it already there and I envisioned like that text message was already there and so like you know stuff like that when you envision it's already there it's there when you envision healthy chit chat between your partner it's there you know it's there believe me I manifested it today it's there it's there and it's crazy how they how how they told me to pick okay. this pile and so I'm also seeing how much I've grown and how much I can put out there for you guys on how much you can grow as well which is why they told me to pick this pile for myself so that I could share how much I've grown I've got summon all right so, summon, you know, this means you're, you, you have the power to summon something to you. What is this? Ooh, let's look. When you choose this card, it is a symbol to create a ritual and to connect with your spirituality. Get in touch with your own inner magic before you make a move forward. How do you communicate with your powers or with me, your goddess? Now is the time to pray or meditate or acknowledge a sacred in every experience, don't take your next step lightly. You have the power to summon your spirit, summon your courage, summon even me. You are inquiring about something important. Breathe and wait for a sign before you act. Choose another card if you need more understanding of my wisdom for you. Okay. Let's see what the wisdom is, though I suspect it's a relationship. What is a summon? Tell me more about this summon, please. Okay, Archangel Michael's pitching in on the summon right now. I'm hearing the Angel of Marriage is as well. 
called Daniel. So, thank you. We've got the cycles of the moon. So this is what it's telling you is that I'm right. Trust your intuition. The moon is the moon card is all about trusting your intuition, okay? So whatever you feel like you're summoning is what you're summoning in that whatever you feel like the summon card means for you, that's what it is, okay? Okay, whatever you feel like this summon card means for you, that's what it is. Thank you. Okay, so, yeah. Okay. Some of you may be having some sensitive emotions. Maybe you're going through Dark Night of the Soul. Look up Dark Night of the Soul if you are, please. I mean, you're going through spiritual awakening. Sensitive emotions. These times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra care and gentleness. So another thing that I'm getting is that some of you that are having sensitive emotions may be empaths as well. So maybe you're picking up on others' emotions a lot. And so here's what I do when I pick up on others' emotions to kind of get clear. If I take my sage stick, right? Actually accidentally lit the bottom instead of the top first. Didn't mean to. This candle's actually running out of juju. So, burning sage can like really help you get clarity and kind of keep your channels clear. So, if you guys are going through spiritual awakening, it's kind of like imperative that you keep your channels clear. Um, now, another way you can do this, it's, it's, um, it's effective too, if you don't like sage, is you can take sea salt baths, that does clear your energy, but like literally, if you really want to clear your channels, sage is great for that. It's great. I'm obsessed with burning sage. Alright, next, I'm going to look at Mother Earth here, because we do have the Mother Earth card. So let's see what this is about. I'm sorry, I'll lean back for a minute here. Because my leg is getting stiff. Mother Earth, okay. Mm. You can expect peace, harmony, and happiness at home if you already have it. Learn to let it support and comfort you more than you currently do. This is a place where you can, you can and should draw strength. If you don't already enjoy this blessing, you are probably noticing the lack of it and desire a change. Whatever the challenges and difficulty you faced in the past, the time is here to do what you can to create a better, more nurturing home life. You have the wisdom and the ability. The universe is open to it. You're like a mother earth who can create home life you desire. So I feel like some of you are, um, are overwhelmed by some things that you may have not gotten done at home. Um, possibly dishes, possibly laundry, whatever it is. Um, the time is now to take the initiative and make it more of a happy place for you and actually get that stuff done. Do some organizing because when you do that organizing, you realize you've accomplished something and then you realize just how much you achieve in life and you become more confident in yourself as well by creating a cleaner environment at home that you enjoy to be in. So do you enjoy to be in a messy home? Do you enjoy to be in a clean home? Answer that question to yourself, and if you enjoy being in a clean home, go ahead and just get something done. It doesn't have to be all done in one day. Get something done so that you feel accomplished. And that accomplishment is also going to bring uh, like make you feel more accomplished in your life, okay? So um, the next thing we've got is affirmations. So to lift your thoughts and energy and attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. So with this manifestation technique you kind of have to retrain your brain to believe you are willing to receive uh, and worthy to receive of what what is coming to you because it's already coming to you you're manifesting it you may not see it yet but here's why you need to retrain your brain literally get up in the morning and talk about how worthy you are to yourself i am worthy i am beautiful i am awesome you know go check out star girl the practical witch she's got great manifestation techniques um video go check out the gem goddess she just uploaded manifestation blocks on her onto her um youtube you know but also to manifest it's uh you manifest better when you take care of yourself as well Ooh. thank you for showing me that i dropped this crystal here 
Okay, well, the reason why it came out, though, is aventurine can actually help with your heart chakra. Um, and for empaths, empaths seem to radiate off their heart chakra, and this is green aventurine. It's crazy how the green aventurine was just under my table, and I didn't even know it, and my fingers ran across it, and I'm like, Okay, so that's what I'm supposed to mention. Another good one that's good for your heart chakra and all chakras is fluorite. So if you guys even, because the it's just crazy how the pile number three was fluorite. Fluorite's great for all your chakras. All right, so the next thing we've got is I feel like your guides may communicate with you when you're outdoors. So it's saying spend time with the flower, with flowers and flower es essences to increase your personal healing power. So I feel like, yes, you are an empath and you're a natural healer. But also, I feel like um, maybe rose oil may benefit you. Uh, rose oil benefits me so much. And I actually haven't used it today, so that's probably a reminder for my guides to go ahead and use my rose oil. It's actually great for migraines, and it really does help a lot. Um, but also, if um, there there's something that you can do to help align your chakras. And... Um, you can take some some rose essential oil, mix it in with olive oil, and then do a few drops on your foot, and then put some lotion on as well. Massage your feet, the bottom of your feet, and the and and your toes and stuff. Massage it, and what that does is it helps like kind of align your chakra. It really does. It really does because in your feet you have certain points in your feet that align each chakra so as you rub your feet and massage your feet it can actually help align those chakras not only that it's a great form of self-care that brings more confidence because you have pretty feet so hey yeah anyways let's move on it's saying manage re your resources wisely so um and help those who are less fortunate so maybe your job is to help those who are less fortunate to bring more abundance flow into you but also manage it wisely. Make sure you don't give too much, give give too much right away, but give a little bit. You know, a little bit. There's this saying that a little bit goes a long way. So, you know, when you can help somebody, go ahead and help them. If you can't help somebody in that moment, that's fine. But don't feel guilty about not being able to help somebody. Because you're also being told to manage your resources wisely. If you want to go buy something for yourself, but you know you still need some kind of groceries and you won't be able to get those groceries if you go buy something for yourself, well, then you need to focus on the groceries, okay? Because some of you are experiencing fears surround me, from, uh, fear, fears surrounding like money and self-employment. You know what? You're a born entrepreneur, okay? And your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So if you're looking to self-employment, go for it. Go for it. If you're looking to make a YouTube channel, go for it. You know, you're going to get some kind of communication in here. Um, and, and, and it's going to be from others. And, and it's also telling you to reach out from others from for uh, reach out to others for comfort and love. <clears throat> And it's also telling you that you will grow stronger from whatever situation you're in, okay? And some of the sadness that you're feeling is temporary because it's an empathic thing that's going on. And you really need to pay attention to the fact that you are an empath. And it's also really taking time to reflect so you can transition and release all that negative bullshit from your life. You, In order to receive the abundance, you kind of have to release the negative um, release what the ego is trying to tell you like I said reprogramming your brain to being feeling worthy and stuff like that for some of you winter may have been a significant time for you as well or winter may be a significant time for something coming up in your life where you're really going to start seeing all your manifestations reflect and come true like I'm talking about a, one of your biggest manifestations may come true in winter okay <clears throat> um, is what I'm being told the next thing I've got is seven of abundance, okay? We've got have patience. Sometimes dreams grow slowly. Don't worry. The hard work you've invested in will bring about beautiful harvest. This is a good time to prepare because things will soon move forward quickly. Use this time to rest and plan. So what this is saying is that these changes are going to move forward quickly and soon. 
as you really focus on having this abundance mindset just this abundance mindset focus on it as if you already have it really take care of yourself embrace like going outside embrace like being even with animals can help you as well like I have four guinea pigs um, you can go ahead and scroll down and see two of them on my YouTube um, Rusty will be on there and Brownie will be on there um, I haven't gotten a video of Riot up yet or um, Shiloh but they have featured in some of my videos the next we've got three of abundance okay your passions will lead to your divine life purpose do what you love and have confidence in your talent learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes getting a mentor and teaming up with like-minded people allow your creativity to soar all right well if I have money I'll go to that group <laughs> my, my guys are telling me maybe you should still go to that group and I'm like I've been kind of hesitant to grow because you know one of my passions is tarot and one of your passions may even be tarot so maybe look for groups from of like-minded people um, but I had actually been procrastinating going to one of those uh, you know groups uh, with a whole bunch of tarot readers but you know I guess if I if I if I found those like-minded people maybe I'd meet, meet new friends you know and stuff like that so but whatever is happening it's happening for a reason right now and you're soon gonna like see this you're gonna have this like epiphany type thing life-changing epiphany or experience this is a big time for a blessed change for you and God is supporting each step of the way so basically this is telling me me I basically what what this is telling me and telling you is that like there is some kind of positive life-changing experience on the horizon okay and for some of you it's having to do with love what I am seeing is that you had a person possibly a twin flame that was kind of really uh, in and out he was in and out he was passionate and every time you were with him it was fucking amazing and you're still with him but you may you know like you may have minimal contact you know because you haven't seen them in a while or something like that but also we have the temperance card after that so what it's saying is this situation is actually being looked over by Archangel Michael this is a divine relationship okay whatever you're in it's a divine relationship okay if this and 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 I'm going to read this from another perspective if it, if it is in a relationship okay um, but it's ultimately lead, leading to this cup of love this overflowing abundance okay of love and when it does it's going to happen quick swift quick because this is the knight of swords the prince of swords he's the fastest moving knight okay so it's going to happen when you least expect it but i sense say they may have come in in an in and out type of thing before now if this has something to do with your career being off balance right now like you're like maybe maybe if you're on YouTube your your subscribers go up and down 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 or your money does the same thing what you're gonna see is as you really follow your guidance and manage your resources wisely have that abundance mindset you're gonna see balance returning okay and you're gonna just see this overflowing influx of abundance and a great opportunity up ahead for you as well possibly su successful self-employment so that is what I am seeing for group three I hope everything in these readings really did help and resonate with you guys um, if it did resonate please feel free to like and subscribe if you feel like this reading may help with other people go ahead and shoot the message out to them let them know about my channel um, I'm very grateful for any help I can get and um, I will be opening up donations soon I'm working on getting some kind of PayPal set up so that you guys can donate to the channel um, donations are used to help pay my rent to help take care of my guinea pigs to make sure I have all the groceries that I need in the house um, women's supplies apparently obviously um, you know I've had to do a lot of Dollar Tree shopping lately because I haven't been able to afford everything in other places or anything like that so literally I'm Dollar Tree shopping a lot just to make sure I have everything that I need 
but let me tell you if you have a dollar tree near you it's it's your best friend right now if you're having problems with money okay all right so um <laughs> thought i'd let you know about that take care and thank you for watching